Right, okay. This, I would imagine, if it's anything like our kit, we're talking electricity. Um, if it's any, anything like the kit in Norwich, this will be massively popular. Who has visited their science resources box the cupboard recently? That's slightly worrying. <laughs> um, but anyway, last time you went to your science resources cupboard, who went to think, I know, we'll go and find some stuff for circuits? And maybe you found, maybe you were lucky and you found 10 cell holders. You got them all out, didn't have any batteries. Or you got them all back to the classroom and actually the, um, the electrode connections on the side, half of them had snapped off. Am I telling a familiar story to people? Yeah. Um, or the buzzers didn't buzz anymore. Or the bulbs didn't light anymore. Lamps. Yeah. Here, in beautiful little boxes, these are much nicer than the Norwich ones. Um, so, all your little cell components, how to build a circuit, will be described in the supporting notes, and all your different components are here. So, very quickly, without you doing anything as a teacher, they're learning language. You don't have to give them something and tell them this is a buzzer. They can come up and they can find the box that is a buzzer. They can pick a buzzer. Why do you have to give it to them? To build a circuit. Oh, and we've gone eco-friendly as well. To build a circuit, you've got all the cables. By the time you get to year nine, you'll have your children coming home and saying, we did electricity again. What else can they tell us about electricity? And I have to be sympathetic. The, the development, because you guys in year six are desperate to stretch, you're more able, you've probably gone and stolen the thunder of the year seven teacher who actually wants to take them to the next level. But you've gone and done it anyway. So by the time they're in year seven, they're bored. By the time in year nine they're finished they don't want to see another circuit ever again and then they'll modify the GCSE in the year that your children sit it and drop circuits altogether. <laughs> the thing that they've learned over and over and over again um, suddenly gets taken out of the GCSE curriculum spot the parent with um, slightly <laughs> um, stressed children about this um, so back to the kit box um, we have recyclable batteries and um, rechargeable things. So really nice resource. And um, you've taken this to the next level, Claire. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and it's, uh, you know, I don't need to tell you guys how to build a circuit. You've been telling children, hopefully, how to build it. The important thing with this kit is that everything's in here for you to do it. And I know that the kit will be checked every time before it goes back out. And so that you can be confident when you get the kit that everything is in working order. Um, but now that we're all comfortable shaking hands, we can do something very special, ladies and gentlemen. Um, basically, I'm gonna have to improvise slightly. I want us to make one very large connection, one very large joined up line in this um, room, okay? So I'm probably start it roughly at this end. So can the rest of you just think about how can we form a chain by just make, holding hands with the person? We, we can stand up if we want, that's great. Right, okay, we're, we're going to hold hands here. Right, okay, so at the moment just hold hands, okay? Right, uh, oh guys, I can't believe it, you, you were well up for this, this is brilliant, thank you. Um, right, so, there's not a lot happening, is there? Oh, we, the, the, the circuit's not complete, that's perfect. Right, so the circuit is now complete. There's still not a lot happening. Ah, sorry. Can you touch that? 
Uh, right, one person. Like. That's cool. That, that is a most magnificent thing. Just a beautiful thing. So, if you hold it singularly, you complete the circuit. So it goes, it goes through you, basically, the current. Okay? But you can extend it um, by having two people. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, you've got one of those um, so-called energy balls in the kit. You don't want to, you don't want to go on a CPD session and just get um, the whiz bang, you know. You, the, and it was really interesting that she said that because there is a lot of interest in from Ofsted about this that you do whiz bang lessons and the kids are like, oh wow, that was cool. Um, and then, you know, you could ask them two days later, what did you learn from that science lesson? Well, we exploded things, sir. How did you make the explosion? Absolutely no idea. So there's that whiz bang, but what you actually want is embedded learning. And there's a really fascinating report on this topic that kind of it says about the importance of doing science that can be memorable but there is genuine learning from it um, and it's a report by Lim Bianchi and colleagues at the University of Manchester um, and it's about children asking questions and kind of turning this research on its head and looking there's a lot of work about how you guys teach and the pedagogy and the the teaching practices that you use but this is actually looking at it from the kids perception of how they learn and what they get from these lessons fascinating report it's got about 10 or 12 you know try and make sure this is how you run your science lessons um, so um, that hopefully the, you can see the value in that learning it's a real wow moment can you imagine if you got your whole class suddenly having electricity transmitted through their bodies which is exactly what's just happened um, but you can actually um, bring some really solid science into it and make it really memorable and not just a, a whiz bang explosion moment and I'm stealing ideas from that kit and uh, you're going to help me improve my kits Claire which is absolutely lovely. Partnership. Yeah. So that's electricity.